Joining me now, Stephen Miller, founder of America First Legal, former senior advisor to President Trump, and Molly Hemingway, senior editor at The Federalist and Fox News contributor. Molly, if they really thought their policies were so popular, would they be running to the abortion issue so enthusiastically? Well, first off, I don't think abortion is as good of an issue for them as they seem to think. Their view is actually incredibly extreme. Every single Democrat across the country believes that, that, that abortion should be allowed through all nine months of pregnancy for any reason. So if you want to kill an unborn child because she's a girl, they think that that should be fine. The Republican position is simply that states should be able to make those decisions themselves. So I'm not sure, if, as people think about these issues, whether that argument will even work. But obviously, the real issues are the ones people, you know, that people really care about in their day to day. This is the economy, inflation, the border, which is completely open, you know, in the South crime, which is rampant in so many cities, and what's happening in our schools. And Democrats don't have anything to say about those. Can things. you believe the D.C. story? These I, kids aren't going to be able to go virtual. But is, that tells you everything you need. These people are frauds. I'm going to say it, America. These people are frauds. They don't care about your children. They don't care about you. It's all about the real dictatorship of ideas. I'm sorry. I'm so upset about the school issue it's tonight. It's I can't, I can't even believe it. Stephen, here's what Biden said at a fundraiser that occurred before his 30-minute rant tonight. And by the way, it screwed up traffic all over D.C. He said, we're seeing now that either the beginning or the death knell of an extreme MAGA agenda. It's not just Trump. It's almost semi-fascism, he said. Stephen. Well, I think Freud called that projection. If you want to know what the fascist party is in America, it's Joe Biden's Democratic Party. What is fascism? Raiding the home of your political opponent? for purely political reasons, shutting down people's lives and businesses, kicking people out of school because they won't get your vaccine, leaving people at the mercy of violent criminals while weaponizing justice against your political opposition, those are fascist actions. You know what else is fascist? Forgiving student loan debt illegally, going around Congress with no constitutional authority instead of asking for a law. All of those activities are fascist, and Republicans should point out that we are now the Freedom Party. They are now the party of tyranny and repression. And control, from air conditioning to now gas-powered vehicles. Yes. I mean, we've heard it all. Molly, here was another uh, stellar moment from Biden's rant fest this evening. And it's not hyperbole. The very survival of our planet is on the ballot. And it's not hyperbole. Now you need to vote to literally save democracy again. Kids, get off my lawn. Molly, your reaction? That is it's the definition of hyperbole. But these, this type of rhetoric really is frustrating because when you think about the definition of fascism, this is the joining of corporations with the party. You know, just tonight we saw that Mark Zuckerberg says that the FBI had Facebook censor the Hunter Biden laptop in wow. information. That's what so many technology companies are doing in in. Congress with these with the party that is fascism that is something that everyone should hate whether they're Republican or Democrat and it's happening and it's really affecting our freedom Google of expression. announced yesterday speaking of Molly's point Google announced yesterday that was going to undertake a disinformation <laughs> uh, scrub in Europe so everything that's happening in Europe they want to bring here right so that's ultimately coming here and, a and disinformation scrub and worse Europe step one what they really want is the Chinese system here in America that's what they really admire especially all of these what is corporate your social CEOs. credit score tonight Stephen? it's very low feeling it's very it's low very, Molly I don't even think you rate on the social <laughs> credit yes. score but I mean it's can you imagine getting democracy lectures from the lockdown party democracy lectures from the people that stole the childhood of millions of students and wouldn't even let them go to school and is still not letting them go to school democracy lectures from a president who is illegally violating the law every day by keeping our border open despite decades of laws passed by Congress saying that the border has to be secure and illegal immigrants deported. This is a man who has contempt for democracy, contempt for Congress, and contempt for the American people. Molly, 41.5 percent is the 538 approval for Biden. They're actually bragging about that. That's a that's a brag for them. <laughs> I've even heard people say that things are going better for Biden. This yeah, it's year like the momentum, year. momentum. In fact, his numbers are even lower than they were last year. And the policies are so deeply unpopular that that's why the fundamentals of this election will remain the same. And the out party, which is the Republican Party, should stand to gain. They do need to articulate what they want to do. I agree, Molly. Out. And they're telling me I have to go, but I have to ask you, because you wrote a great column about this. The leadership of the Republican Party griping about the candidates. I'm done with that. They got to stop that. These people are 
courageous to be in this ring right now. First time candidates, Blake Masters, Herschel Walker, Oz. I mean, I wasn't for Oz, but you've got to have Oz win. And you had, the, you had the point that people say that they don't like the direction of the country. Having outsider candidates is a response Good. to that. Yes. And and regardless, if, if, you know, if the leadership can't support these candidates, they should just be quiet. The just life get, of the republic is at stake. Right, just get out of the way. If you can't support just get the planet, I love what you say. It's not hyperbole, but if you don't vote Democrat, we're all burning up in three <laughs> yeah. months. All right, St Stephen and Molly, great to see you both. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.